After she had a stroke, Shauna Evans lost the use of her left side. When doctors told her she'd be spending the next two years in a wheelchair, Shauna got angry. That's also when she grabbed onto a small seed of faith that she would be healed. It was just like, something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong. And I couldn't shake that feeling. I was scared. So my whole entire left side was just, he numb. At that point, my hand was balled up. It was, it was balled like this. I knew I had a foot, but I couldn't feel it. That was the worst I ever felt in my life. I cried like a baby because I couldn't tie my shoes. I would hear her cry and it, it, it just really broke my heart. That's when I got mad and I was like, oh no, ain't no way I'm finna be like this for two years. I kinda said to myself, I know this is not what God's plan is for me, but for now, I guess this is what life is. I held on to a little bit, that mustard seed, but I was upset. That is uniquely different than every instrument, every other sound in the earth, but when you lift your voice, it says in the word. In between the 9-11 service, somebody from staff asked me to pray for um, for her, and I don't know her, I've never seen her before. I'm like, okay, I'll pray. I started feeling my hand go from here to like right here. I'm looking at my hand and I'm going, is my hand opening up by itself? Are you serious? And I was like, okay, God, that's what we gonna do today. Okay, cool. As he's praying, my hand just opens all the way up. I'm moving my fingers like this. And I hadn't been able to do that. I was amazed. I was like, oh my goodness. I, I looked at him. And I'm looking at my hand and I'm just like, oh my God, you know, like, thank you, Lord. You know, I think I was even crying a little bit. <laughs> Starting, there was a testimony. If you, if you want to just bring her up really quick, we're going to do this really quickly. June 8th, and you couldn't move your hand and you were struggling walking. She was in a wheelchair and she had no mobility in her hand. She couldn't do just the simple things. And we started to pray. I got this feeling it started at my feet and it was like this tingle and it came all the way up to the top of my head and it got so hot i was like the sun is sitting over top of my head because there ain't no way it's this hot in this building <laughs> then you began to walk you began to move your hands and God began to do something. And when I put it up there, it was like someone grabbed my wrist and pulled it the rest of the way up. And I can't believe it. I'm just like, all right, God, let's go. If you gonna heal me today, let's do it. And like on a scale of one to 10, where are you? Right now, I feel like I could run. <laughs> and he said, you wanna try? And I said, let's go. Come on. And then I just started taking a step. Come on, somebody. Come on. It was one of the coolest moments of watching God just move in front of people. There's no words for what I was feeling. I knew that God could do a miracle, but I never thought that it would be me. To this day, I'm still in awe. It was just disbelief, I'm like, wow. I don't even have word. It was so amazing. There's someone with an eye condition. Be healed. 
it's still no words for how I feel. I'm so grateful that God chose me because I'm not worthy, you know? I just thank him over and over and over every day. Every day that I'm able to get out of that bed by myself, walk across the room, every day that I'm able to use my hand, I can touch my fingertips and I can tie my shoes now without any help. I think I tied my shoe like three or four times in a row. It was just like pure joy. God is real. I see it through my mom every day. Since I've prayed for her in particular, I've seen three other people get out of wheelchairs like and fully healed. Just watching what God has done has stirred my own faith up to believe that God can do anything anywhere at any time. There is absolutely nothing that God cannot do. You can be healed. It does not matter what you've done. God loves you and he wants you to be healed. God can do it right now. And yes, he does it in time and he does it in process, um, but he can do it right now. Keep a hold to that little bitty mustard seed of faith. And I promise you that God will take that and he will honor that little bit of faith and he'll do the miraculous.